We know that Wyoming will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> It's the last night out on the Red Horse Roundup. Tomorrow, the boys will be up bright and early to drive the bellowing cattle into the ranch. The boys have been enjoying themselves a lot more since Alabama joined them, but Steve Bradford is still in charge of the outfit. None of the boys have trusted Bradford's actions since he tried to force Mr. Carter into selling his Red Horse Ranch. We find the boys around the campfire. Now this is a tale of a cowboy Who dwells on the old Texas trail Where a cowboy will ever fail If he rode down that trail To find a pretty girl that he loves Riding down that old Texas trail Riding down that old Texas trail Oh, my darling, stay at home. Please don't go on the road. Don't be riding down that old Texas trail. Now listen to me, all you ladies. I've lived on that old Texas trail. If a cowboy wants to roam, you can call him your own. If you keep him off that old Riding down that old Texas trail Riding down that old Texas trail Pretty girls that are so sweet Sweep a man off his feet If he's riding down that old Texas trail Now I'm staying home with my darling I've been down that old Texas trail Oh, I've had a lot of fun my roaming days are done And no more I'll ride that old Texas trail yeah. Go on singing, Tex. Helps my digestion. <laughs> hey, Cookie, <laughs> wrangle me up a couple more sourdough biscuits there. Yeah. I'm a get it. I'm about the tiredest man is in this whole outfit. Oh, all right. God's honest, you're too lazy to grow fast. Listen here, man. You done that half the chuck wagon now, wheels and all. Why, where you put all that grub? You must have hollow legs. Boy, that's the way we eat where I come from. Yeah, I hear from where Arizona comes, they eat horned frogs for breakfast. Yeah, and lizards for dinner. And a couple of rattlesnakes for supper. Well, yeah, and that ain't all. We sleeps on cactus and wears cockleburs in our hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Cookie. How about another dozen eggs there? Hold out a slab or two of that salt pork while you're at it. Man, I'm so tired I could sleep on a rattlesnake's nest. Ain't, ain't you boys through eating yet? Why don't you quit eating and sing a while? Man alive. Cookie sure is on the peck tonight. Wonder what's ailing him. Guess he's kind of out of sorts for getting that chuck wagon bogged down in the mud this morning. Say, that's a good one to sing. Trouble for the range cook. Hit a card there, Zoli. Come wrangle your 
your Broncos and saddle him quick. The cook is in trouble down there by the creek. Oh, cinch up your laddie goes all of you runs and pull him so tight that your old Bronco grunts. Yeah. We'll need all the punchers the foreman can send. The chuck wagons mired down there by the bend. The cattle are scattering over the plain while punchers are yelling in language profane. But let us spread out for the cooks in a must and quicksands are causing the fellers to cuss. Oh, this is the time every puncher's his friend cause a chuck wagon's wired down there by the bend. A straining of ropes and a grunting of nags and woe to the puncher who's Larry and Sags. It's spur em and quirt em and made them lay to and now she's moving and now she's through. It's worth all the time that the effort required cause it's nothing to eat when the chuck wagon's wired. <laughs> I'll give you my old jackknife for just one more biscuit. You go on away from here, boy. Mr. Bradford, he don't Leave say Bradford out of this. Yeah, and I'm it. backing you up there, Cheyenne. I've seen more of that longhorn in the last week than I ever want to see again. Well, we ought to have this herd back to the Red Horse Ranch by tomorrow night. We'll be working for Alabama from then on. Yeah, that's what we ought to be doing right now. I can't make out why old Dad Carter ever put a man like Bradford in charge of this outfit. Well, Bradford talked Dad into it, and Dad thought he was doing Alabama a favor by letting him stay away from the roundup till he got to feeling better. Now, he ought to know he couldn't keep a cowpoke like Alabama away from the roundup. Come to think of it, Alabama ought to be in before long. He and Tenderfoot ain't having to do night herd again tonight, are they? No. Alabama's just trying to help Bradford and the boys bed the herd down for the night. And, partner, I call that regular of Alabama after all Bradford's done to hurt him. Wonder why it is Bradford's got it in for Alabama. Oh, that's easy to figure out. Bradford's blaming Alabama for talking Carter out of selling the Red Horse Ranch. Well, Bradford sure got his eye on Dad's ranch. Whatever incarnation he wants with it, I can't figure yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> Give it him dried apples. Yeah, <laughs> give it him dried apples. Hey, Arizona, where you going with them dried apples? I'm going crazy. <laughs> well, the rate you're going now, you ain't going to have to camp overnight nowhere. <laughs> Put them back there in the chuck wagon where you got them and leave Cookie alone. Oh, well, Chuck, hand me that banjo. Yeah. I can't do nothing around here. Work all day, don't even get nothing to eat. Yeah, play it. Yeah, 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 play it. Yeah. Kingdom come there. Yeah, Chuck, oh, Kingdom come. come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just Steve Bradford. He'll be in the camp pretty soon. That old Bradford? <laughs> Miss Alabama, yeah. you just say the word and I'll put salt in his coffee. Salt in his coffee. <laughs> I'll even put sand in his beans, I will. <laughs> yes, I will. Yeah, and I'll put cactus in his boots. Uh, <laughs> mind saying that to my face, Arizona? Oh, how to do, Mr. Bradford? I practically got Chuck all ready for you. Cookie, yeah. put away that grub. Haven't I told you to hold down on the rations in this outfit? Yes, I was practically holding down. Arizona, you'd just... better get your hot roll out of the wagon and get plenty of sleep. You'll go on night herd at two. Oh, shucks. Oh, Bradford, if you don't mind my saying it, I know the boys wouldn't mind doubling up that night guard. The herd's pretty nervous out there tonight. I'm bossing this outfit, Alabama. I think I told you that before. Well, yeah, I reckon you did. I'm just thinking of Mr. Carter now. Losing in this hood is liable to ruin him this spring. The regular night guard's plenty. No tenderfoot. Yes? You'd better get up a little early in the morning to wrangle the horses. Oh, yes. we got a hard drive if we intend to get into the red horse tomorrow night. All right. Good night, boys. I think I'd better get out my hot roll, too. 
I can use a little sleep. Oh, hold on there, Tenderfoot. Yeah? We can't knock off till we've had one more song. Oh, all right. Get yeah, your well. fiddle out of that hoodlum way. <laughs> I got it. All right, boys. I'll advise you all to get some sleep. We've sure. all tried right tomorrow. Come on, boys. Let's turn in. Oh. I can't sing after talking oh. to that waddy. Oh, oh, just one more, Bob. Come on. Make it 21 years yeah. ago. We'll all, all right. feel better. Yeah. Sure. Twenty-one years ago. Twenty-one years ago, when men wore beards and women wore clothes and girls just had their Sunday bows. How times have changed! Now goodness knows since twenty-one years ago. Twenty-one years ago. Twenty-one years ago, we'd go and dance on Saturday night and drink hard cider if we might. Today, folks say that it ain't right since twenty-one years ago. Twenty-one years ago. Twenty-one years ago, when Grandma said in her old armchair and met the clothes and kids would tear. Now she's out going everywhere since twenty-one years ago. Twenty-one years ago, yeah. twenty-one years ago, when girls wore skirts below their shins to hide from men their shapely limbs and how we loved that gust of wind since twenty-one years ago. my roll out of the wagon while you're at it, Cheyenne. Sure, Bob. We'll all be back at the ranch tomorrow night, sure ready to sounds... put this herd in cars for market. Yeah. I hope they all get uh, there. Uh, what are you talking about, old man? Hey, well, hey what's, what's that? that? Down that way, jumping rattlesnakes. You don't suppose it is... It's too much shooting to suit me. We'd better hightail it down to the herd. Well, Why, look. Somebody is riding straight up to the herd. What? Stampeding them, that's what they are. I don't know what's up, but they'll sure have that herd spread all over this end of the state if we don't stop oh. them. Come on, boys, we are riding hell yeah, for election. Yes, boy, boy. Uh, get your horses, all of you. Red, you've got some real running to do. Yeah. Them shots drove the cattle crazy. Let's go. All right, boys, follow me. We'll run down those farmers, whoever they are. Just a minute, Alabama. I'm in command here. Well, you boys will follow me. All right, Bradford, but we can't waste no time. All right, let's go. Get down to the herd. Get down. Get down. Must be five of them. They can do a little rustling, huh? We'll beat them hot lead. Sure. Stretch out, Red. We can catch them. Yeah. Alabam, take your horse back, all of you. Oh, all right. Right. They're going through the ghost there. Let's get them. Alabam, right. do what I say. I'm bossing this outfit. Oh. Turn your horses back and save what's left of them. Oh. But hang it all, Bradford. We can't let them rustlers get away like this. You'll do as I say. Get back to the herd. Stampeding the herd, why doesn't Bradford let the outfit run down the cattle thieves? We have an idea that he has some tall explaining to do when he meets up with Dad Carter. Let's be sure to listen. <laughs> 